So hello, hi, today we will be downloading Root onto Mac. So I have here with me is the Mac Sierra uh, version 10.13. This is a 2020 Root installation video. So hope this helps and let's get started. So first of all, what all Mac users need is the Xcode and the command line tool to be installed to be installed. Uh, this can be easily done by just copying paste this command line onto your terminal or you can go to the um, you can go on the web and find a step-by-step -step guide on how to um, download Xcode and get the command line tool working. Next we would need uh, to install Xcore, this is also on the web. All these web pages are listed uh, down below, so don't worry. Um, so we just download this. That's just so simple. Okay, we're going to check our clamp version. So let's do just a clamp version here. So with me, I have the clamp version 900 here. So what we will we will need to uh, make sure is that our Clang version is the same version as the Xcode. So here with me, I have the Xcode 9.2. And to check this, I go to the Xcode version, um, web. Uh, so Xcode 9.2 here, Clang 900 here, and that's the same. So we're good to go. Um, Okay, so we will be compiling using the CMake to build our root. So this is also downloaded from the web. So you just download CM, you go, you just download CMake according to your machine. So download tar and untar. Um, okay, what I, what I did. Okay, let's say what I did and what I suggest to do is to edit your bash file first. So we would want to copy this into our bash file. So I have this here, here, and this part is according to where your root is, where you you untarred it. Um, okay. So the next step is to download the root source. So what I did was I actually downloaded, um, I didn't download the binary source. So what you want to make sure here is that your Clang version is the same as the version that you downloaded. So let's say for example, this is the latest release. If I go here, um, for Mac, the Clang version is 100, see? A hundred. This is same as clan one thousand. So this is not according to what I what is suitable for my version. So I went to a older older version. So if we go here, the version is ninety one. Um, still, still maybe not suitable for mine. So I went here. And I got this, this is my version, like 90. So what I did was to download this source file, okay, and untard it. So you go into your, um, so I did it at my desktop. So you enter your directory. So in this directory, you will have a config. This, this I don't know if it's a file, but it's, it's config or something. So what you should do is um, config. Okay, so root is built with CMake. This is why we need CMake on our machine. So you see here, um, run so it's making another directory entering the directory and then making the whole thing building the whole thing in this directory so it'll be a longer directory but let's just follow this one i'm not going to do this step because i already have root so 
afterwards when you have entered the um this object directory sorry okay you will have um you have a bin so let's try to source uh this bin okay and then go for root so root is working nicely okay but i don't want to you know go through all these steps and having to open my root at this object directory so this is a this is a long way to go i want to open my terminal and straightly run root and how to do that is with this command so you source get this part is where your object is directory is so this part is according to yours not the same as mine okay um and then you would want to put this in your bash profile and then in order for that to work you will need to um, run this command and you're good to go so let's try uh, let's clear everything up so and there you have your root running okay thank you so this may not be the same as others but it worked for me so i hope it works for you too thank you for watching bye